What's good, everybody? I'm Sam J. And I'm Melvin Gregg, and we're pulling the seats today to show you exactly why our culture can't be canceled. We body the first 10 years of the 21st century with trailblazing achievements. The next five years, we doubled down and went by. Our own images became yet another form of entertainment. Race, age, and body type didn't matter. The internet became the great equalizer for displaying our talents. While Black creators were on the rise on the internet, we were also taking over the box office. In 2011, we saw more Black producers, more Black stars, and more Black directors than ever before. The Black exploitation films of the 1970s revealed that there was a mass box office appeal for Black actors. No cap, it only took like 40 years for the gatekeepers to catch up. Now that Hollywood has finally begun to invest in our culture, the fears can't be stopped. I just wish there were some stories we didn't have to tell. While the tragic killing of Trayvon Martin on February 26, 2012, was not caught on camera, the story of a young black boy being gunned down for no other reason than the color of his skin took America by storm. Trayvon's death shed a much needed light on the institutional racism that permeates America's criminal justice system to this day. We the jury find George Zimmerman not guilty. With the acquittal of George Zimmerman, Trayvon's death enraged millions and gave birth to a new movement. The Black Lives Matter movement, founded by three black women, have transformed the fight for justice and equality in America to a global phenomenon. In 2013, more than ever before, black women were running the show. In Hollywood, black women were starring in, writing, directing, and producing hit films and television series. From Shonda Rhimes' three hit shows to joining the Real Housewives franchise. Black women were cashing checks, becoming staples in mainstream entertainment. Black women-led productions had arrived in full force. And finally, we had a chance to be in control of our own narratives, and more importantly, how we were being portrayed on screen. In 2014, Viola Davis removed her wig on ABC, which became to many a way of rejecting the standards of beauty imparted on Black women by white America. Black women have always defined their own beauty, but now Hollywood and the hair industry had to fall in line. The natural hair movement was in full effect, and there was a noticeable shift in the black hair care industry. Women were spending less money on relaxers and more money on natural hair care products, giving birth to more and more black-owned hair care brands. In the coming years, we would see a rise of black beauty influencers, gaining millions of followers through natural hair care tutorials. As black celebrities in Hollywood started wearing their natural hair on and off screen, black girls across the globe were finally able to see themselves on screen. By 2015, Black Girl Magic had been trending for two years and was becoming a movement of its own. Black girls across the globe were proudly celebrating themselves and applying one another for their accomplishments in every industry. Serena Williams was named Sports Person of the Year by Sports Illustrated. Simone Biles won a record-breaking six gold world championship title. And Misty Copeland was on point as the first black principal dancer in ABT history. Kerry Washington, Rihanna, Beyonce. I mean, black women were seemingly on the cover of every major magazine. Everyone knew that black girls were magic, that they deserved to be celebrated. Black women were shining for all the world to see. But in early 2015, Hollywood had to deal with a major controversy when black Twitter called them out with the hashtag Oscar So White. The hashtag will force Hollywood to address the racial disparities within the industry in the midst of the total and utter lack of significant support and consideration Black actors and filmmakers receive, especially during the war season. As we head into the tail end of the decade, we pay tribute to a prolific legend, his world badness. Our queens survive Me Too and the further rise of Black Lives Matter. Keep watching.